Oh, that was so sweet of me. Hmm. It's so much fun to just watch them. She's unbothered by us. She doesn't feel the need to stop what she's doing. She's just like, I gotta do what I gotta do. The girls gotta eat. I gotta make this web. The marbled orb weaver, also known as the pumpkin spider. Now these are medium sized orb weavers that you can regularly find in North America. Now these are spectacular little spiders and more importantly, spectacular spiders to find in the spooky month of October. These are such cool little spiders. Let's see if we can find one and let's see what we can learn about it. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, we are out on a nice overcast October day, and we are looking for some very interesting seasonal creatures. Now, if you're familiar with Charlotte's Web, you know that the orb weaver has a very shortened lifespan, typically seasonal, and she dies at the end of the movie at fair time, right? Fair time? Fair, fair fall, fall time. Fall. So... Fall is a great time for spiders, especially orb weavers. Uh, so we're going to poke around. We're up in southeastern Oklahoma, and hopefully we can find the species I'd like to show you because it is an amazingly beautiful orb weaver. So let's go. So basically what I'm doing is I'm looking for webbing, typically strung between branches or in between trees because these orb weavers create these illustrious wide round webs where they can catch all sorts of flying insects like flies, dragonflies, grasshoppers, etc. So we're going to look around, see if we can find some of those really nice exorbitant, exor exorbitant, ex 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 cool webs. Oh. Fall in a hole now. Don't fall in that hole. No, 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 no. Now, an orb weaver spider's web can be very large, sometimes reaching one, two, three feet in diameter. So spotting one shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, I think I just spotted exactly what I wanted to find. Oh, she's building her web right now. I want to be careful as to not get into it. Take a look right here is a beautiful marbled orb weaver. These are some of the most beautiful orb weavers in my opinion. A gorgeous orange, gorgeous, gorgeous orange cephalothorax and legs. Of course, tipped with some nice white and black banding on the tips of the legs, as well as a lovely lemon yellow abdomen with all sorts of black and gray striations on it. Oh my gosh, now you can see where they get that name orb weaver. There's this big kind of orb of a web here. And what she's doing right now is actually creating this. A lot of people don't realize that these spiders will regularly tear down their web and rebuild it every single day. So what she's doing is she's laying the groundwork of sticky silk. So she's got certain strands here that are not coated in sticky droplets that she uses to crawl all the way around this lovely nest, but then she'll deposit little droplets in strategic places where she knows to avoid that other invertebrates will become ensnared in. Now, these spiders can deliver a venomous bite. Uh, however, it's not medically significant. It would probably be no more significant than a larger ant sting, uh, probably no worse than a bee sting or something like that. Um, so. Not too terrible. I just want to like pick her up, but I don't want to interrupt her. I know. <laughs> she looks so cute. She's as cute as a button, like a little cute blueberry. Pop her in your button. mouth. Cute as a button. Oh, she's I so just cool. Gobble her up. So what she's doing right now 
is she's actually pulling the thread, pulling her web out of her spinnerets. And she's just connecting it to these strings that are going out. And she's circling and circling and circling and circling. If you've ever seen like a time lapse of an orb weaver, you'll see them kind of create these little outwards and then you'll see them go into the center and that's where she'll wait. She'll put her legs out on all these little tendrils. And when she hears she feels that vibration, she runs over, she starts throwing web on it, wrapping it up with her back legs. Then she bites it, killing it or paralyzing it and starting the digestive process. Her venom is injected and it starts to liquefy the insides of whatever sad invertebrate has fallen into this trap. She can then eat it then, or it is actually somewhat preserved in the silk so she can store it on her web and eat it later. So amazing, they're able to store food. You're so beautiful. They are such, such beautiful little spiders. Oh. I'm so glad we were able to find one. Normally I only get to see uh, some furrow orb weavers, which are kind of like brown and light tan and you know, they don't really do it for me. Look at this, a beautiful Halloween season spider. Absolutely fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. Easily one of the most beautiful spiders that you can find here in the United States. Such a gorgeous spider. I'm so happy we got to see you today. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Oh, I just love seeing them work, you know? She's just daintily crawling. She's actually, she takes a little bit of this, of this web and she hooks it. So she's actually using claws on her feet some of the time to actually hook in to the web and kind of tuck it and poke it and hook it onto extra pieces. But look at that. She's so careful, she's so dainty. She's so good at it. Look at that. Wow. You're such a good builder. Oh, so amazing. Almost robotic, but still just such artwork. You know, that's so much fun to just watch them. She's unbothered by us. She doesn't feel the need to stop what she's doing. She's just like, I got to do what I got to do. Girls got to eat. I got to make this web. Absolutely stunning animal. So cute. I'm definitely gonna try and kiss her. Yeah. Well, I think our lovely time with this spectacular marbled orb weaver has come to an end. So, of course, carrying on with tradition at Jack's World of Wildlife. Oh, very windy. She's like, <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna give her a lovely parting kiss, of course. Because what are spiders? They're so sweet. They're so cute. Oh, that was so sweet of me. Hmm. She's like, quit. That's my abdomen. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful spider. Spectacular coloration. An excellent Halloween month. Arthropod spectacular so wonderful so cool i think we got some amazing usable shots of it so i think we're going to end the video here so of course as always thank you all so much for watching be sure to like comment share and subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future posts or videos join our channel memberships for exclusive behind the scenes content buy the new merch it's sick it's awesome cali office biver goddess malaysian blue coral snake if it's not your favorite snake you're wrong but as always, thank you all so much for watching and be sure to tune in next time for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife. I, I did the, I'd made that, I did that wind. That was me. Okay, it was you, nature. Gah!